Hello, I'm Wayne Berry, and I watched a short video clip recently from the 1970s featuring the very famous American comedian, Bob Newhart. Now, I think you're going to enjoy watching it, and while you're watching, may I suggest that you might like to consider why I decided to share this with you. Uh, Dr. Switzer? Uh, yes, C come in. I'm just, just washing my hands. Uh, I'm Catherine Bigman. Janet Carlyle referred me. Oh, yes. Uh, still being a very alive in a box. Yes. Yes, that's me. <laughs> Should I lay down? Oh, no, no, no. We don't, we don't do that anymore. Just, just have a seat. And uh, let, let me uh, tell you a, a bit about our, our billing. I, um, I charge $5 for the, for the first five minutes. And, and then absolutely nothing after that. How, how, how does that sound? <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> Too good to be true, as a matter of fact. <laughs> well, I can I can almost guarantee you that that our session won't last the full uh, the full five minutes. Now, um, <laughs> we don't do any insurance billing, so you would either have to pay in in cash or by check. <clears throat> wow. Okay. And uh, and I I don't make change. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and go. <laughs> go. Well, tell what? me, tell me about the problem that you wish to address. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I have this fear of being buried alive in a box. <laughs> I just, I start thinking about being buried alive, and I begin to panic. Has, has, has anyone ever, ever tried to, to bury you alive in a box? No. No, but truly thinking about it does make my life horrible. I mean, I can't go through tunnels or be in an elevator or in a house, anything boxy. So what, what you're saying is you're, uh, you're claustrophobic. Uh, yes. Yes, that's it. All right. Well, uh, let's go, Catherine. I'm... Uh, I'm going to uh, say two words to you right now. I, I want you to listen to them very, very carefully. Then I want you to take them out of the office with you and incorporate them in, into your life. Well, shall I uh, write them down? Well, it, if it makes you comfortable, it's just two words. Most, we find most people can, uh, can remember them. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yes. Okay, here, here they are. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it? Yes. S-T-O-P, new word, I-T. So, what are you saying? <laughs> you, you know, it's funny. I, I, I say two simple words, and I cannot tell you the amount of people who say exactly the same thing you're saying. I mean, this, you know, this is not Yiddish, Catherine. This is English. <laughs> stop it. So, I should just stop it. There you go. I mean, you... you, you you don't want to go through life being scared of being buried alive in a box, do you? I mean, that sounds, sounds frightening. <laughs> yes. Then stop it! I, I can't. I mean, it's been with me no, since childhood. No, no, childhood. no. <laughs> no, we, 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 we don't go there. Just, just stop. So I should just stop being afraid of being buried alive in a box. You got it. Good go. Well, it's only been... It's only been three minutes, so that will be um, uh, three dollars. Well, I, I only have a five, so. Well, I, I don't, I don't make change. Then I, I guess I'll take the full five minutes. Fine. All right. Well, what other uh, problems would you, would you like to address? <clears throat> Whew, uh, I'm bulimic. I stick my fingers down my throat. Stop it! <laughs> some kind? Don't, don't do that. But I'm, I'm compelled to. My mom used to call me no, fatty. No, no, no. No, we, de we don't go there. But I've been having this dream. No, we don't go there either. But my horoscope did say... We definitely don't go there. Just, <laughs> just stop it. What, what, what else? <clears throat> well, I have self-destructive relationships with men. Stop it! <laughs> You, you want to be with a man, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yes. Well, then stop it. <laughs> don't be such a big baby. 
I wash my hands a lot. That's all right. It is? I, I wash my hands all the time. There's a lot of germs out there. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't, don't, uh, don't worry about that one. I'm afraid to drive. Well, stop it! How, how are you going to get around? Get in the car and drive, you, you kook. Stop it! You stop it! You stop it! What's, what's the problem, Kat? I, I don't like this. I don't like this therapy at all. You're just telling me to stop it. And, and, you, and you, don't, you don't like that? No, I don't. So you think we're, we're moving too fast, is that it? Yes. Yes, I do. All right, then let me, uh, let me uh, give you ten words that I, I think will uh, clear everything up for you. Uh, you, want, you want to get a pad and a pencil for this one? All right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, here are the ten words. Stop it or I'll bury you alive in a box! Well, what do you think of that? Genuine mental illness, by the way, is no laughing matter, so please know that I'm not making light of people who suffer from genuine mental illnesses. I've had personal experience of the challenges of mental illness, and the therapy that Bob Newhart was suggesting simply doesn't work in those cases. Now, I want to share that video with you, because I meet so many salespeople and business people who run negative, destructive self-talk in their head, like the lady Bob Newhart was talking with. Self-talk like, uh, I just can't do telephone prospecting. I guess I'm just no good at it. Stop it. Keep telling yourself that and you'll never be good at it at all. Oh, I'd like to be more successful, but I guess I just don't have what it takes. Stop it. Oh, I want to meet the target this month, but the economy's down and people just aren't buying. Stop it, stop it, stop it. If that's what you believe, then that's what you will create. Oh, I just can't seem to lose weight. Stop it. Oh, I just can't seem to find happiness. Stop it. You see, our outer world will always be a reflection of our inner world. Whatever we believe and whatever we tell ourselves on a consistent, ongoing basis is exactly what we will create in our outer world. It's simple, repetitive programming, and athletes and all high-performance people know this, understand this, and practice this. During my greatest times of challenge and adversity, I developed the habit of recognising the moment a negative thought entered my head. And I used to say, you guessed it, stop it followed by one more word, and that word was out. And I would deliberately replace it with a positive thought, positive self-talk, and the image of exactly what I wanted to create rather than what I feared or what I didn't want to have happen. Now, when I'm landing a plane in bad weather with rain and crosswinds and you're sitting next to me, you don't want to hear me say something like, oh, I think I'm going to mess this up. <laughs> Same thing when you're landing a sail. You don't want to be saying to yourself, oh, I think I'm going to mess this up. You want to replace this with, Ah, another happy customer. I love helping people. So whenever you start to have a negative train of thought, remember those two words, stop it. And if you're really brave, you know, if you hear somebody that you really care about starting negative, destructive self-talk, consider saying, stop it, and then explain where this idea came from. And you know what? You can blame me and Bob Newhart. Hey, I'm Wayne Berry. I hope you can use this concept. Have a great day. Make it a great day. Bye for now.